Hello, everybody. This is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements 2024, looking at some of the new features in the program. This is one in a series of tutorials looking at the new features in the program. And one major feature worth noticing is the interface itself, which is brand new. It's more modern, it's clean, it's bright, and it's not your only option. You have the option of a bright light interface, or if you go over to this little sunshine, you can click on that, open up your preferences, and set the UI to a dark mode. You'll need to relaunch the program for it to take effect, but we'll click OK, turn off the program, restart it. And here we have the program in dark mode. Easy to read, nice contrast. It's up to you which mode you like. I kind of prefer the lighter mode, but at least you have an option here in version 2024. Let's go back over to the light mode. Same way, clicking on the little sunshine icon, setting preferences to light interface, and restarting the program. One other feature worth noting is the return of the audio effects. In version 2023, most of the audio effects were stripped out of the program. However, if you go to the effects panel over here on the right by clicking on the FX button on the toolbar and go to audio, you can see that now we have audio effects for creating high pass and low pass effects. So you get the sound of a telephone or a small speaker. There are notch filters and equalizers and even a reverb, a studio reverb echo chamber. So it's nice to see those return also here in version 2024. Now we've got a couple other tutorials that will show you some of the other new features that are available in version 2024. If you want to know all about these features and how to use them and where they're located in the program, you want to check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything there is to know about the program, pick up a copy of the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. It's available at amazon.com. I'm Steve. I'm the guy who wrote the book and I hope to see you again real soon.